Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at AMD's uh, Suite at CES 2015. I'm here speaking with Chris. Hey, Jimmy. And Chris, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Yeah, uh, what we're looking at here is the Zotec, it's the Z-Box uh, PA330 Pico series. Uh, it is a AMD APU-based system. Uh, it is it is very small form factor. You can see my hand here. You can see how big it is. Uh, it is actually running the PC, even though you see that there's no video cable plugged in. I, all I have plugged in right now is just the power. I'm gonna plug the mouse back in here. And so how is it? How is it getting the visuals? How is it getting the visuals? It's getting it through this screen beam here, so it's actually uh, Miracast. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, so Windows 8 and Miracast. Do we, do we have options for a straight HDMI or anything like that? Yes, yes, you do. So there's HDMI. Okay. There's also Mini DP, but this is actually a dock port, uh, a dock port plug, so you can plug in a dock port dock and have multiple screens. You can have actually this this might not this I think it supports two screens. Two okay. screens is how many uh, yeah. And then so it also has two three USBs, two threes and a, and a two, and network. Gotcha. And this is running a uh, full Windows 8. Full Windows 8, yes. I think okay. I'm running Enterprise right now. Gotcha. I had a, I had a code for that. Um, and we, we've kind of seen this um, this before. I was here at uh, you know here one year ago exactly. Exactly. And it, it sort of uh, before this it was sort of known as the AMD Nano PC, if you will, right? Correct. It's it's sort of evolved a little bit. You know, Zotac's picked it up. Um, and if I recall correctly, the other one was a little bit you know it was a little bit different design, maybe a little bit. Um, Thinner and maybe wider. Yes, it was thinner and wider uh, because because we only had the, the one mini DP plug on it. It it provided power to the system, and then it it went to a uh, went to a mini DP hub that had HDMI out and one USB. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if I took a video last year, but in my speech in my spiel last year, I, I said this can come out with. I, I don't have many different form factors, uh, not just not just with one DP and or one mini DP. Uh, it's as you can see now it's come out and there's quite a few. Can you talk about the the inside of it, the specs and whatnot? Yeah, the specs. It's a AMD A4 Micro uh, 6400T APU. Kind of a mouthful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's an APU, uh, which means the R3 series graphics is built onto the APU, um, and it has two gigabytes of DDR3 memory uh, with an optional four gigs. Uh, it is. It does come with a Visa compatible mount, and this one I believe comes with 32 gig SS. No, E M M C. Which I don't know what that stands for, but it's, <laughs> it's basically a small uh, SSD gotcha. uh, chip, and cool. that can be upgraded to 64 to 64 gigs. So I mean, who I mean, who is this exactly for? I mean, you said it has APU in it, which you know, so there's going to be some graphics capability on there. Is it supposed to be meant for gaming? Is it sort of like a Chromebox type of situation? Yeah, it's more. It's more of a. It's more of like a video player slash. Uh, you use it for like kind of everyday use. Not not really. It's not really built for intensive gaming. It's built mainly for like you could play like some mainstream games. I, I know we've we've put uh, FIFA. Like the okay. FIFA games run really well at low settings. Most of the, any like of the mainstream games that you're gonna play are gonna run at low, low settings. But it is because because it has Radeon graphics in it. It, it, we always, anytime something has screen we'll, we'll be able to play like League of Legends and things like that. I mean, it only has two gigs of RAM, so. Um, it's gonna have, it's probably gonna have a difficult time playing League of Legends, yeah. Okay, and, gotcha. Maybe you can honest. use this as a streaming box then? Yeah, it's great for streaming box. It's actually, it actually is currently streaming. Uh, it's been streaming this whole time in the background. A whole bunch of, I just put a whole bunch of promotional videos on a QNAP server across the room. Okay. And it's running off of the QNAP server. 
Gotcha. So, uh, we, you know, we've seen so, sort of similar stuff like this. Uh, you know, Intel has their, their NUC and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, we've, you know, played around with the Gigabyte Brix Pro, uh, which uses, you know, Intel. Uh, and, you know, the, the one issue with that is it runs really hot because it's, you know, such a small form factor. Yeah. Um, I know right now the unit that we have here is just a prototype, but is that, is heat something that we have to worry about? Um, it is a prototype. Um, I expect I expect heat heat to be um, not as much of an issue. I know the gigabyte the gigabyte bricks. I felt I felt it both the uh, Intel and the AMD versions, uh, and this Zotec is not as hot as them. Okay, and uh, when can users expect to be able to purchase this? Uh, is I don't know if Zotac has actually announced that. Okay. Um, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't want to speculate, actually. Gotcha, and I'm guessing no no price point at and this point. And they haven't released a price point. The only thing I know is that our competitors do already have out a version, and it's about $189. So generally, we're... Possibly in that range. Yeah, generally, we're about the same or the cheaper choice. Gotcha. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.